Gammon India, they have planned to restructure their business and they are also looking to raise additional funds. In fact, Katie now brought you the story first and Kishore Kumar Mohanty, who is the MD of Gammon Infra, joins in to sa shed some more light on the company's uh, plans. Mr. Mohanty, thanks very much for joining in. First, uh, your company is looking at restructuring its varied businesses, you know, in terms of power, roads, ports, etc. Could you elaborate on your plans? Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting to your studio. Uh, coming to the restructuring part of it, uh, we are in the infrastructure domain. And uh, infrastructure, in our opinion, will remain the epicenter of economic growth and sustainability in India. So we being one of the pioneers in the infrastructure segment, will always try to capitalize on the opportunities available and create different sectoral uh, verticals to take the best uh, advantage of the opportunities. Presently, we are present in the road sector, we are present in the power sector, we are present in the port sector also. And going ahead, we are also planning to get into urban development, we are, might get into airports, we might get into few other areas of infrastructure. So it's a logical uh, uh, progression that we will create different verticals and certain point of time, might be two to three years time span, we will restructure the whole uh, working into different verticals like road, port, might be power. Sure, but uh, if you could give us a timeline and by when you expect it, this uh, restructuring to be completed and also if you could tell us if you are indeed looking at listing any of these uh, verticals that you will be creating. Yes, in the, the one of the uh, uh, future uh, uh, plans will be to list uh, these verticals separately. Uh, it's very uh, uh, difficult to might be predict the exact time frame. It will depend a lot on the type of uh, uh, opportunities coming in the market, the market conditions and the fundraising ability and the uh, equity raising ability of us in the marketplace. But uh, if you ask me in roughly between two to three years time, you will see might be a lot of restructuring happening and we unlocking the uh, value of the organization as well as the shareholder value. Mm. So, Mohan, Mr. Mohanty, you are also looking at uh, some amount of fundraising as well. What is the quantum that you're looking at? So again, coming to the fundraising, uh, all of you will appreciate that uh, uh, infrastructure segment is a very capital outlay uh, sector. So, that the, the hunger, if our uh, appetite for projects will remain unlimited, we will have a huge requirement of capital. So you will have a continuous uh, effort and uh, re-engineering to raise capital both in the debt side and the equity side. So this is a continuous process. So if our appetite today, for example, we have already around 15,000 crore uh, projects in the basket. Uh, we need to fulfill those commitments. And in the new year, we might have a procurement of more than 10,000 crore additional projects. So this will have a requirement of one to 2,000 crores of equity might be. So how do so, you plan uh, to raise this money? Depending on the time frame of investment, we will... See, there are uh, different levels of uh, uh, raising and uh, besides internal accruals, we can go for a slightly strategic uh, 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 dilution at different levels, at a SPB level, at a sectoral level, at a Holco level or at, a, uh, uh, at the uh, uh, original company level also. So, so different you are options looking, are uh, Mr. Mohanty, so you are looking at a stake sale, is that true? No, we are not exactly t looking at a stake sale, but I also at the same breath confirm that we are doing different exercises for capital raising, which will keep our appetite in the infrastructure se sector unlimited. So, so that it will be continuous process. It saying, may not right? be a direct stake sale. The stake sale might be, stake dilution might be one of the options, but that may not be the first option. Sure. Right, and also, Mr. Mohanty, you've got about uh, 2,200 uh, 2, crores of debt on your books. Should we assume that uh, some part of the money you raise will be used to pay down that debt, or separately, are you also looking at restructuring that debt? See, if you see the March 2011 uh, figures, will might be what will posted. We have brought down the debt level, and though we have posted a growth on the business. So considering that, we are continuously trying to manage the debt in the uh, original balance sheet so that uh, the, 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 the debt component, debt burden on the original company is less. So it is a logical conclusion only that we will try to do different exercise which will reduce the debt burden and at a different level.
so that the equity investments uh, or equity requirements are addressed uh, from uh, uh, different sources by, uh, by might be fundraising at a different level at SPV level or at a Holco level.